My fizzing whiz beer is still brewing. These things take time. I was only testing a new recipe in a, mostly, empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. That's exactly what Aunt Matilda said. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. I can't wait to get brewing. This could be my best creation yet. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? I was hoping you could get me a fupa feather from Sharp's office. It's the last ingredient I need to complete my potion. Careful, there's a me here. Don't do something you'll regret. Brewed it myself. Sure you don't want to try it? Finished! This is going to be brilliant. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. That's one way to get what you need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Ah, brilliant. Thank you. But not for sale. And you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. Brilliant. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. Find the secret passage that goes from Hogwarts to Hogsmeade. Should be behind a one-eyed witch statue. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a gift, truly. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say... Descendium. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you might want to redeem yourself for not having brought me that fupa feather in potions. I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed. Trust me. Then follow it to Honeyduke's cellar and grab some dried billywig stings for my newest concoction. The goblins are much better off without Ranrock, that's for sure. Dragon dung! What happened? Wait, it's not supposed to- ah! And now we add the mallow sweet, and- That's odd. What's happening? How are they riding a hippogriff? I can't even get one to bow. Sorry, Professor. Hello again. Were you able to get to Honeydukes? I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. What could the headmaster want? Buskins are fond of bogeys. It's brilliant to catch someone by surprise with one. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. His bark's worse than his bite. I think deep down he respects my artistic spirit. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind. But it was still brilliant. Thought for certain you'd have helped. I think it's good to take risks every now and again, especially when it comes to potions class. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. Careful my aunt doesn't catch you doing that. Not sure why I should have to pay for fizzing whizbees from a tunnel that anyone could have found. But oh well. How does Gareth's subterranean concoction sound? Too obtuse? Well, there's one for my diary. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. Hello again. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Knew you'd come around. Nice underclothes. Not sure that I have the stomach to ride a grap horn. Downright chilling behaviour. Who needs the Hogwarts Express when you can jump on a broom? You'd think so, wouldn't you? Heard about your travels here? Can't believe it! Glad you and Fig are all right. I am. She's my aunt. Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Though... I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, 
creativity as much as you might think. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. <laughs> the opposite, actually. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today, hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. Trolls had better not be a village fixture now. What? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honey Dukes. I- Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. <laughs> Do you need something from me? I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. You won't. Fwooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I simply need a single Fwooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. I understand. I'll sort something else out. I assure you he won't. Fwoop feathers aren't that valuable. Brilliant! You're as clever as I'd hoped. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Of course, didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. This is brilliant! Can't wait to get started! Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. You got them! Incredible. You'll like it. Trust me. Here, have a sip. Go on. I would really like someone to try it. It'll be the next butterbeer. Over here, come here for a moment. I'll miss seeing Professor Fig around. He always knew how to irk Aunt Matilda. Professor Shah's just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening.